The last one I wanna just talk about is designing for the environment. And designing for the environment is, is it easier to fix the environment, the physical environment or the process or the computer system or something that it is to fix the person? Because we focus a lot on things and sometimes our advent into this is things like job aids or whatever that we can at least put into the environment as a, as a resource or an aid. This comes from uh, Don Norman's book, The Design of Everyday Things, and he talks about uh, knowledge in the head versus knowledge in the world. Where's the best place for the information to live to support performance? And he has this example in his book where he talks about this stove. And if the big goal that you're trying to get is to make sure that people are turning on the right burner, and I have one of those ceramic stovetops and I've occasionally turned on the wrong burner and I don't realize it until the plate that's sitting on the stove breaks in half because I overheated it. So we wanna turn on the right burner. Which stove do you think is gonna work better and have a lower error rate than uh, the one on the left or the one on the right? So we wanna turn on the right burner. Which stove do you think is gonna work better and have a lower error rate than uh, the one on the left or the one on the right. Yeah, now it has its own issues in that you have to reach over a burner to do the controls and stuff. But, but if the goal is to turn on the right burner, we're going to get a more reliable result in the one on the right. And so that's the big issue with environment. And I know that falls outside of our responsibilities, learning and development people a lot of the time, but is there anything that we can do to make the environment work better to support the behavior. I, this was, uh, I, I don't have problems with this anymore, but when I was younger and drove bad cars in Minnesota, this was one of my favorite little pieces of information that was right on the tag of my jumper cables. And this was really helpful because I could never remember which one you plugged to like the engine block and so on and so forth. And little triggers in the environment um, can be really important important and useful and part of kind of our overall strategy. This is the Freedom Trail in Boston, which is the, the way that you can tour historic Boston instead of dealing with a map or dealing with an app or doing anything. You just follow that brick line and it just takes you right around historic Boston. And it has a much lower error rate than, than map reading or apps or things like that. So what are, how can we create a path for people?